Hey guys, what's up? It's Masto here, and today we're gonna be going over the new challenge in Clash Royale, is the Modern Royale. So I already have two wins. Uh, there's you only need to go up to six wins. Basically, you just build your deck using only cards from ever since the global launch. So there's not gonna be any Hog Rider. There's not gonna be any um, you know Fireball Zap or anything. So this is the deck I'm currently using. Um, you scroll down, you see there is no none of those cards, and not having the zap is so crazy because you're gonna you can just use the Infernal Dragon now. Uh, so the only good spells we have here is the Tornado Lock and the Poison spell. So there's not much to choose, you know. All the others are not that good. So the best ones, really, every deck in this challenge, you should have a zap or a poison spell. And Mega Knight is just so good. So you obviously have to use the Mega Knight, just a great tank. Um, let's talk about the Infernal Dragon, uh, because of, there's no zap now, and the Infernal Dragon is suddenly pretty OP as a strong defender to get rid of any tanks, like for instance someone uses Mega, uh, Mega Knight as well. Okay, so really the only you know, big tank is probably Mega Knight and the Lap Hound. So um, let's get started, let's go into a battle and see what we can do here. Okay, so first person I'm versing is Eric3544, and uh, this deck, uh, 2-0 right now, hoping to go to 6-0, obviously. Um, so I'm going to throw and go slow. Let's put the Infernal Dragon down. He's going to throw his uh, Dark Goblin. Really solid first play. Uh, Dark Goblin will do a lot of damage. You leave the guy alone. I'm going to throw our... Nah, maybe not. We're just actually going to leave uh, the Infernal Dragon by itself taking care of that Dark Goblin. You see Dark Goblin already took more than half the health of the Infernal Dragon. So we're gonna go slow, as I said. I'm gonna throw a Mega Knight. Uh, sorry, Mega Minion, and I'm gonna throw my Poison spell. Obviously, just get rid of his Executioner. And guess what? His Ice Wizard is gonna fall into it. I'm gonna throw a Mega Knight now, and that's gonna clean it up. However, oh no, uh oh. Okay, he has his Elite Barbarian is going the other way. That's crazy because that is a lot of damage I'm gonna take on the left side. He's gonna throw a log on the right side. I'm not gonna worry about that. I have to take down his push. And he's going to throw bats as well. I don't think that's a good play. I'm going to throw a Mega Min to uh, help the Bandit. And now we got two buck straight pushes. Bandit's on tower. Ice was going down. Ice was going to take take Bandit out. But my Mega, Nini, Mega Minion is still there. Take out his Ice Wizard. Now our Mega Minion hits, gets one shot on his tower. And guess what, guys? We are leading this match. Obviously, his Elite Barbarians took me by surprise. And uh, yeah, Elite Barbarians works well as well. In this uh, uh, game mode, I don't think Elite Barbarians would be good. However, it will work well, but not as well because, you know, because of Mega, Mega Knights. That's the only reason. So, I'm going to Poison, and I'm going to have a Log, well, Log later. Okay, now, now, now I'm going to Log just to get rid of his uh, Dark Goblin and his Executioner. Executioner is not going to do anything to my tires. I, I can just leave it alone. Now his bandit is going the other way. I'm for my bandit. I'm for my bats. Okay, that's not a really good play on my part because the bandit actually got her uh, charge. So my bats are going to easily finish um, those uh, me me Mega Minion. And now I'm going to throw my Nightwish starting another push. The reason why I'm going on the left lane right now is because I want to take it down and just put in insane pressure on him. I'm going to log his Dark Goblin away, throw my bandit down, throw my bats down. Okay, maybe not my bats down. I was going to throw my bats down because there's a lot of uh, in, uh, stuff there going on. And I'm going to throw solo Mega Knight, and if he doesn't take care of it, he's not going to take care of it in time. We're going to easily take out his tower. Log was too late. Dark Goblin going the other way, and my Mega Knight easily just killed it. So I'm going to use Mega Minion, take care of these two bats. Nightwish going the other lane. He's going to throw his Elite Barbs, and really, Elite Barbs easily going to get taken. I'm going to throw my Poison Spell just because... You know, take out the bats, but I really didn't need to. And this is going to be a win, guys. And 3 0. So this deck working pretty well. A lot of good air damage. Uh, and Mega Knight, as I said, just so good right now. Mega Knight needs a nerf, guys. It needs some sort of nerf. I feel maybe less health might make the Mega Knight a little bit uh, less powerful. But in this challenge, you can see how strong. I'm going to open this crown chest right now and probably get nothing. Yep, I got nothing. <laughs> And now let's move on to another battle. So, we're versing JY Park. Oh, Koreans, usually a lot tougher um, to play against. Uh, and I'm going to throw my Nightwish down. Once again, I'm going to start going to play really slow. Okay, it's going to throw the Furnace down. I'm going to throw my Poison down. 
not exactly the best position on my poison because I don't think I got the uh, fire spirits and yeah I didn't get the fire spirits so that was a bad mistake by me he's gonna throw his miner down for my mega man I'm gonna take care of his princess he's gonna throw his ice golem and that's gonna counter everything which kind of sucks so my mega Man's probably gonna go all alone I'm not gonna do anything uh, there so he's gonna throw his fire spirits once again okay so I'm going to throw a Mega Knight starting uh, a defense on the left side just because his um, Fire Spirit is going to be annoying and my Mega Knight might be able to hop around uh, hop around even faster just because uh, of the Fire Spirit is coming at him. So he's going to throw a Prince in the other lane. I don't like the Princess on the other lane. I feel that's a very bad play. Now I guess well, I can just poison his Furnace and his Princess all at once. And I just feel the Princess should be on the uh, on his lane, on this left lane right here. I just feel it should be because you want to pressure the left lane. You don't want to move the princess on the other lane because um, it doesn't provide any uh, offensive support. So I'm going to throw my dragon tank those uh, fire spirits, which it will. Throw a mega min down against the miner, easily take it out. And now we have fire spirits coming in once again. Um, uh, Infernal dragon taking all the uh, aggro. And again, I don't like that princess placement this time. Again, should place it uh, away, uh, you know, farther away, so on the on the left corner, uh, so that I can't just log, you know, the, the furnace and the princess at once. I didn't get the tower though, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so I'm throwing Nightwish, gonna throw poison. That's a good poison spell. Uh, and now I'm gonna throw my bed, and now I'm just gonna pump up the pressure. He's gonna throw an ice spirit. That's gonna go nowhere. I'm gonna start poisoning again his right lane, uh, just because I've done more damage on his right lane than on the left lane. He's gonna throw a miner. I'm gonna throw my Mega Minion. I'm gonna log away his princess first, because that she does a lot of damage. And now I'm going to use my bass to finish off the Mega Minion. So Mega Minion should be able to finish off the Ice Golem. Now the furnace is coming down once again. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna throw my Night Witch down behind the Mega Knight. And now he's gonna throw his Mega Minion. I'm gonna throw a Mega Minion to counter that Mega Minion. Now I'm gonna throw my poison spell. I'm gonna miss the princess, but it doesn't matter anymore. Because once again, that is a bad princess play. I just don't like I'm gonna get also a second furnace as well. And that second furnace is also in the poison. So he's messing up very hard. Night Witch on the tower. It's GG. There's no way he can finish it off. He used too much elixir on very bad positional plays. And it's GG game over. I'm gonna throw a Mega Minion just in case a princess. And yes, there is a princess there. And it's good game and well played. So there it is, 4-0. I felt his deck had a lot of promise, but his princess placement and the, you know, it's just not good enough. He needs to work more on the princess placement. So I'm going to get my 2017 gold. Hopefully we make it to 2018 because 2018 is next year, the new year. Title 2018, I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's and just a great year in general in 2018. I uh, wish you all a lot of luck and fortune. Um, uh, career-wise, whatever you're doing, just uh, happy times in the new year in 2018. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my log. Hopefully, the princess. Okay, the princess is not gonna go up. So I'm gonna throw my Mega Man back. Now I'm gonna throw my uh, log. I'm gonna wait a little bit, see if he counters Night Witch a little bit more, which he does. So I'm gonna get the Mega Knight as well. So I'm gonna throw my Infernal Dragon, countering that Mega Knight once again. To say there is no Electro Wizard, and that's why, because there's no Electro Wizard, the Infernal Dragon just go ham like legit. Now I'm gonna throw my Bandit, take care of the uh, Executioner, throw, throw my Poison. And our bandit actually got a charge off, which is insanely good. Infernal Dragon is on the tower. Infernal Dragon is going to take it out if he doesn't do anything. And he's going to throw it too late. And we took out his tower. The biggest mistake he made was playing too quickly. And I always talk about this. You play too quickly, you're going to lose matches. I'm going to lock these guys away. Our bandit's going to finish off the Infernal Dragon. And no damage at all with his tower down. So don't play too quickly, guys. He threw his Mega Knight down. It was a bad play overall. And we just uh, used our Infernal Dragon because completely just counterattacked and just took down his tower. So here comes him again. Uh, he's going to throw his Princess down. Okay, my Bandit's going to take some aggro, but my Bandit's going to charge and take out the Princess and also get a shot on the King's Tower. Not really looking to getting the King's Tower yet. Focus trying to get him the other lane to divert, divert his attention to the left lane. He's going to throw Infernal Dragon down. Um... Not exactly the best play in my opinion to counter the Mega Minion. I felt that he could just left it alone. And now he's going to go solo Lumberjack. Again, that's not really the best play. Lumber solo Lumberjack doesn't do anything. And now we have a Mega Knight on the other side and a Night Wish on the left side. He's not even counter the Night Wish, so I think he's given up. 
There's no way. Okay, no, he doesn't give enough. He's going to throw his uh, uh, execution down. Bats are doing work on the other side. Taking it down. Now I'm going to go ham. I'm going to throw uh, everything down. I know I said I wasn't going to go for the third, the, uh, the three crown, but he just gave me too many opportunities to do so. And it's GG. And it's uh, thank you for saying well played. Well played too. Good game. And that's my uh, fourth win, is it? Or fifth? Oh, fifth. Okay, I'm just being retarded. Okay, so five and oh. One more match, guys. If we win it, we get six and oh. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Um, so this is a pretty good starting hand. I like it. Uh, I always throw a Night Witch on the back first. Um, stall some time, which is exactly what we do. I'm going to go on the left side this time. Switch up a little bit. Don't always go on the right side. Okay, Skeleton Barrel. I kind of like that. I'm going to throw my Poison down. Take care of those bats. Then I'm going to throw my bats to also take care of Skeleton Barrel. And um, there goes that skeleton barrel. And <laughs> there's a lot of skeletons. It's gonna take out 500 damage on my tower. It's gonna throw a goblin gang, which is a really good counter against the night witch. And uh, my uh, tower is gonna finish off those goblins. So I'm gonna go a little bit slowly again. Mega Man on the back. See what he does. He's gonna throw an ice golem. IMO. The ice golem isn't really good. That good in this challenge, just because there's just you know you, you don't want to. IMO. You just don't want to put it down. Yeah, it's going. It doesn't really do much. There's not a lot of diversion going on. I'm going to my log now. Hopefully, it's perfect timing. Yes, it is. Perfect timing against that skeleton barrel. And now he's... Oh, my God. My bandit actually got a shot off, which is pretty funny, on that tower. Actually got a charge. Now, I'm going to put my uh, Mega Knight in or, in because uh, I want to start pushing now. I have lots of elixir. He's probably down elixir on me. I'm going to throw my Mega Minion on the back. You know, just because they're both Megas. He's going to throw an Ice Golem down again. It's not a really good diversion, really, IMO. And he's going to throw those down. Now he's going to throw the bats down. That's great because, for him, because, or her, because uh, my first guy is going to be distracted here. So he's definitely going to get a shot off, potentially, potentially get a shot off. And yes, it did. So my tower's down at 1,000. I'm actually really low. He's going to use a mind to counter uh, the Inferno Dragon. So he actually didn't have a good play there. So now I know he doesn't have a good play. And that he's off cycle now, which is great. And uh, I'm pretty sure I have a little bit more elixir than him, maybe one or two. So I can start push off in this double elixir time. I'm going to start my Night Witch on the back door and see what I can do. Uh, okay, he's going to start pushing on the left side. Not exactly the best play because I don't understand. Okay, you've got my tower down to 1,000. Why are you pushing on this? I'm going to poison, get rid of the skeletons. Now I'm going to throw my band on the other side. Put my bats down on the other side as well. And now I'm going to I'm gonna log for preemptive log. And that's not going to do anything. But look at that. Suddenly, his tower is down to 1,500. I'm going to go... Uh, okay, and I'm going to go Mega Knight. Take care of those gobs. Throw my Mega Minion down. That's going to take care of his Miner. And he's actually going to have a Bandit on the back. I'm going to throw my Night Witch. Again, back on my Mega Knight. And now, it's just GG for him. This is too big of a push. And as I said, Night Witch, Mega Knight is too big. I'm going to throw my Poison down. Get that over it. And now, this his tower is... is Oh wow, his tower's not down yet? I thought that was real. Oh, that was, he did really good defense there. Okay, I'm gonna throw my Mega Knight down. I thought he was, you know, that his Mega Knight was gonna get shot off, so I was scared. Now I'm gonna throw my Bats down. He's panicking now. He wants to take down my tower automatically. Once again, his Bandit is in poor position. I'm gonna log, try to see. Goblin Gang, I get his Goblin Gang. It's GG, guys. Why would you throw a Miner when I have a Night Witch right in front of you? That doesn't even make any sense. The Bats are gonna go ahead, do work as expected. And he's going to throw Ice Golem too late. He's low on Elixir now. I'm going to throw my Mega Knight down. He's on his... I don't know why he poisoned. That's just a dumb poison, right? He's trying to cycle back to his Miner. But that's not a good play. I'm going to go Poison. I can even just go Log. And it's GG. Well played. Good game. Good luck. And we beat Sticky Juju. And it is a 6-0 win. Wow. What a win. That's how you win this, guys. I'm going to get my 2018 goal. I'm actually going to take a snapshot of this for my thumbnails, as you know. And uh, this is the Modern Royale. So once again, thank you guys for watching. This is a little opening. Subscribe below. See you on the next video. Bye, guys.